Well, hi guys. Welcome everybody to our Sunday Coffee with Conti show right here on our Corvette channel. Yesterday, in our viewer mail segment, I'd gotten this from our customers, Dennis and Doris in Fortuna, California, although you can't see this. This is from the uh, Toddy Thomas Hornets, the class of 21. They sent me this medium roast, fresh ground coffee, resealable bag, smart. So I figured we'd start today's show by trying that with you guys. Not sure what you've got, but we're gonna give this a shot. Ah, it's actually pretty good. Way to go, kids. I hope you sold a bunch. Appreciate that. You know, and that show yesterday, that was a late upload, but a lot of response. Again, you guys are so engaging on the channel. I really do appreciate that. Um, okay, the timer just went off on the lot lights here at the dealership. But that viewer mail segment was really designed to read the emails that you guys send. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, in fact, this week, as I mentioned, we're going to have a hiccup in production. I'm going to have an opportunity to be very diligent and try to catch up so much on all the emails that you've been sending and grab some stuff for future content because I think we're going to make that a regular feature by reading some of those emails in the viewer mail segment. It's not designed to share the stuff that you guys are sending me. That is... Uh, uh, incredible and much appreciated. So stay tuned for more viewer mail. And after yesterday's show, immediately I got an email from a guy and his story, man, this guy was flat lied, lied to and just totally jacked with. And I'm going to share that on our next segment coming up next week. And it's disappointing because in the 25 plus years I've been representing Corvette, as we have a new generation change, yes, there's always excitement. And yes, you always bring new people to the brand, but not like what's going on right now. There's all kinds of things going on right now that really shouldn't be going on with the launch of this new C8. The success is just crazy. Uh, the demand is beyond, I think, what anybody uh, could have ever imagined. And there's some other factors that are determining that right now, but it, it's nuts. So we're going to talk more about that. And thinking of, and I don't want to talk so much about my car, but you guys know I have one on order, and your support of my efforts means so much. And I want to thank my customer, Tommy, here in Ohio, who gave me this idea, and we're going to take the ball and run with it. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do a collaboration with another YouTuber who also happens to be a past customer of mine. Uh, he bought a car for me in 2014, lives about 15 minutes up the street, but we lost him. He's got a couple, he's doing a great job. He's very successful, I'm real proud of him. Nice guy. Uh, he's got a couple Lambos and he's all excited about this new Ferrari that he got. Oh my gosh, watching his channel. And it's like, okay. So the uh, idea is a challenge to him to will motivation. So I'm going to wait until I get my car. That's a reason you can subscribe to this channel so you know what's going on in the community with people, stories, journeys, car product, market news. Bam, yeah, subscribe. Boom. <laughs> Absolutely, man. We're having that much fun and that much content and that much to talk about with just one car. So in this challenge to Will, I felt pretty confident that I'm going to win this. So I've actually put a monetary bet on it. That's right. Ricky put the money on the wood to make the deal look good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now that's not even a chuckism. That's right from Ricky's arsenal. So that'll be a lot of fun coming up in March sometime. And as I mentioned too the other day, in case you missed it, we're going to be, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a send off Pat party here at the dealership. If you're able to attend, I've already got people from Washington, Texas that said they're coming in, Michigan coming in. Wow. Um, you will need to RSVP because I'm going to have shirts made. I'm going to try and do some hats and some other stuff for the people that are here. Nice little gift pack and just have some fun in that send off. So, um, that's going to be a big deal. I, I, I'm really looking forward to that. More on that coming up in future uploads. Let's get into today's feature, and that is talking about the all-new color, the Red Mist Metallic for the C8 2021 Corvette. Now, this is not like all brand new. We've had derivatives of this color over past generations of Corvette, but it seems there's a lot of interest and people want to know and want to see this color. Many of you, including our customers, have ordered it without even seeing it. Saw a catalog photo and that was it. We didn't even have a paint chip. You want to talk about a leap of faith. But as I said the other day, you won't be disappointed. And what I did in today's show was not anything big produced. Was I, I wanted to capture really what I was feeling and describe what I was seeing for you guys the first time I saw the color. And as I mentioned also in previous uploads, this camera... I don't know if I have the right lens on it or whatever, but for some reason, didn't pick it up the way that I was seeing it. 
Uh, even the National Corvette Museum webcams, we've mentioned that too. A little orangey to it, um, but there is a lot of depth and I nailed it. So you'll see cut in today some of the iPhone photos that I took that are just brilliant, dynamic, and I think this will be the best depiction of red mist that you have seen anywhere to date on the internet. So thanks for joining us today for our Sunday Coffee with Conti. It's great to have you guys here. I just want to feel beautiful in the skin. All right, guys, I apologize. It's extremely windy out here, but it is beautiful. As you can see, we've got a four o'clock sun, which concerns me because as the sun goes down, it starts to cast a little bit more of an orange hue, and that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to wash out what colors are in this all new red mist. So you can see the big shadow there. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna throw up some pictures that I took earlier, but as you can see, as I'm walking around this car just a little bit, how the color is changing on you. It is striking. Let's see if I can get in here so you guys can see if I can capture it. Let's see, I get up close and I don't know if you're seeing it or not. This car's not even clean for detail yet. I mean, it literally just got prepped. And I'm like, hey, give me that thing. The sun's going down. I gotta, I gotta show the audience this new Red Mist Metallic for 2021. Tatch talked about this color early on. Here's what Tatch talked about this color before anybody had a chance to even see a panel. Red Mist Metallic Tin Coat is one of my favorite colors uh, that I've seen years. Uh, photos don't do it justice. It's not like our torch red, uh, but it's a brightish red tint coat. So it looks really rich, but it has a fire that comes through that tin coat uh, that's unlike any paint color uh, we've done in recent memory. So I think he was right, huh? Again, I hate, I'm just doing this real quick to grab something because number one, it's late in the day as I mentioned, but also two, I think the customer's gonna get this car like really quick, wouldn't you? So I've gotta grab some footage while I can for you guys. As we come over here, you can see a little bit of shadow cast and how that changes up a little bit on you. It is, and I referenced this before, I don't know if I told you guys on the channel, I think this has a similarity to Crystal Red that we've had before on Corvette, but this is much classier, much more brilliant, in my opinion, than Crystal Red. Let me scooch down here. Okay, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that, man. Let me zoom in on that door. Isn't that nice? Every time, let me go from here. Every time I try to capture this metallic, I can't seem to get it. Let me see if I just stay still here. Maybe you guys can see it there. Anybody see that metallic? And here's what I've said before too, when I'm doing orders for you guys, of course the sun is really brightening it up more, but this has the edge red calipers on it. And I think that goes best with this car. Come down in here. What I like too, I give credit to the Bowling Green assembly plant. When you get a tint coat color like this and you're changing because it's such an angular body panels, you know, from the door to the to the rear quarter into the rear bumper clip, usually you get a variance in the color. This all blends very well. Nice job on the paint job, guys. Yes, now, <laughs> someone's gonna say, well, what happens if it gets hit? Oh gosh, I don't even wanna have that conversation. Matching it up, well, that, you know, any tin coat, any metallic, you've gotta be concerned with, absolutely. So here, how it sets up not really showing off the metallic but more so the tone of the color all right let me move the car real quick for you guys now when I'm standing over here I don't know if you can see this part right here of the bumper anyways that part of the bumper you can see how that angles out and the color changes as I walk around just a little bit here that's a sexy color man it really is. Let me show you this. I got the door open and again, sorry, it's dirty. I hate showing a dirty car, but it's dirty. But look at how that stitching from here, it just goes, does it not? All right, you guys, it's an hour later since we were talking and I had to pick the camera back up. So we're after the five o'clock sun, cars parked on the lot, still kind of bouncing off the side there, but See what I mean? When you go to different angles, different sunlight, 
at how brilliant this color really is. Now right here through the window, can you guys see how the red seat belts are a nice accent on this car? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I'm not gonna let this vlog end. One more update for you. It is almost a six o'clock sun. It is just about done. You can see there's no direct sunlight on the Red Mist Metallic and get an idea. As I told you that we would show it off in different lighting conditions and shadows and so forth. I think we accomplished that today. Let's get a little closer so you guys can see it. It's a good looking color. Now what I'm looking at right now with the naked eye versus what I'm seeing on the screen and I'm not sure how it's coming across with you guys on the channel, it looks lighter on the on the camera than what I'm seeing. It is darker to the naked eye. Here we go. Well that's you know, seeing what you're seeing right now, that's the sun bouncing off the building onto it. Alright, how about one more scenario? Underneath the lot lights. Red mist. I gotta have some fun with it guys. What do you think? Say goodnight, Red Mist. All right, you guys, there it is again. Sorry. I had to give you yet another perspective, another comparable. Uh, this is 7 o'clock in the morning lighting with some clouds on the all-new Red Mist Metallic for the 2021 C8 Corvette. guys now we're inside again I'm sorry I'm bouncing all over the place on this video but I wanted to capture this in different lighting situations you know in the Sun I think on the video camera it might still be washing out this red mist and we're going to show you here in this vlog some pictures I took with my iPhone and I think we captured it I think we nailed it where you can really see and appreciate the depth within this new paint that is now available. And I know a lot of people that are longtime Corvetters are like, Rick, why are you making a big deal about this? This looks like the old crystal red that we used to have. And I love the old crystal red, but this, it does have a little bit more of a, um, I guess in this lighting I'm looking at right now in the shop, a little bit of a strawberry kind of feel to the burgundy. It does have some depth and it does have a dramatic look on this new body style. And I'm trying to get, let me see if I can open this up for you guys. Then again, I don't know. See, it's so hard. Let's see, what I'm looking at on this camera right now, it, well, to me, it's washing it out. It doesn't look as, what I'm seeing on the lens is not looking as burgundy as what I'm seeing with my naked eye. But what I'm trying to tell you is the red seat belts, as we talked about earlier, because they are just a little bit different tone red from the adrenaline red interior that they do work with the red mist metallic they really do now as far as interiors all we've been able to show you so far is don's 3lt with a black interior and the red stitching but what other interiors do you think would go with this all new red mist metallic of course keep in mind when you build it on the configurator it's going to look much different even the red mist itself looks different then you start matching up the interiors of course black well that looks good then you can go with a sky cool gray. That looks good. Maybe the two-tone sky cool gray. That looks pretty good. A lot of people said, I love it with the natural. Keep in mind, you can get natural, which will have a good portion of natural and black interior. Or if you go 3LT, you can go full bolt, a ton of natural. That dipped interior will be a nice accent to this red mist metallic. If you want to get wild and crazy, not my recommendation. Some people have asked, what about the Morello Red, which is only available on 3LT, but you can see even in this depiction from the Chevy online configurator, those reds, they, they just don't match, not at all. And if you went with adrenaline red interior, 
Well, does that, <laughs> see, the reds just don't match on those red seats with this. Even if you went with the two-tone red and toned it down just a little bit, I still don't think that goes. And if you want to get really silly, <laughs> no, you can't do the tension blue, even though that's one of my favorite interiors. It does not work with red mist. And neither does the new strike yellow with the sky cool gray. As neat as that interior is, and I think there should be more yellow over on the passenger side, it does not work with the red mist. Now there's no doubt about it. It's about lighting and angles and see right now what you guys are looking at. I am not happy. On camera, it appears to me, I'll have to look at this in final edit, it appears to me to look kind of orangey. It doesn't have the strawberry nice burgundy look that I'm seeing with my naked eye. So let's cut away to some of the pictures that I've taken with my iPhone. And I think here in the light, in the different angles, I was able to capture it. The brilliance and the excitement that everybody's talking about with the all new Red Mist Metallic. I hope you enjoy these shots right here in our vlog. If you do, make a comment down below. Also make a comment down below on those silly interiors that we were just talking about. And which one do you think looks best with this all new color for 2021? Donna's the recipient of our first red mist. Oh, how fitting. Hey, man, good to see you. And I gotta apologize, man. Our weathermen suck. Where's the, where's the sun? It you looked at the be... same forecast I did, and it was not supposed to be this. I want at least, I want, you saw the pictures I texted you, and I knew you were pretty they, they excited. They were beautiful. They were unbelievable. You unbelievable. couldn't wait to get on a plane to get up here. Ah, oh, so happy for yeah, you. Well, well, I had to get up here for other things business wise earlier than I expected, but right. it all tied in. Plus, I just got my vaccine. Oh, did you? Right before we got here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So oh. everything is kind of falling in place. Oh, good. Uh, Good. Are you going back to Florida or are you going to stay in Ohio? I got a, I got a ticket down you going Sunday. back? Down? We're gone. This thing is going in the garage. Okay. And then we're going back to Florida. Well, it's not the sun that I had sent you the pictures, but yeah, seeing but, it in a person, what do you think, man? That's great. It's fantastic. Uh, I had a, a 62 uh, red and was a little more cherry than this, but uh, yeah. I originally had the, the uh, you know, that torch red. Okay. On water. And uh, what made you change to the red mist? Well, it came out and I said, wow, this is a Close. better color. Yeah, there you go. I didn't like the the darker red, the, the burgundy. All the old Long, Long, Long Beach. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. So I went with the torch red, but then when they came out with this, I said, yeah. wow. And I. That's pretty neat. looking for it. It was. Fantastic. Well, the pictures I sent you, I caught in the sun, and yeah. people watching this episode right now will see those pictures in a moment if they haven't already, and they really captured that deep oh, yeah. cherry Amazing. burgundy. Amazing. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful right. shots, and, man. And I think when when the sun comes out, <laughs> yeah. it'll look even brighter. It's Ohio, brother. What do you want? <laughs> I would be yeah, right. here. It's, it's it is crazy. what it is. But it's a great spec, though. And the one thing that I was uh, worried about, and I said on the vlog before, that the red seat belts in the red stitching nice spec nice job on that yeah really out. truly and i didn't get your two tones but no that's this is good know. i like this i like the way this works this looks good man yeah happy for you thanks for all the uh, kindness you've given us on the, you've been so generous to us on the channel and uh, it's it's you've, fun to share this man generous to me my friend no it's no, no, no 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 it was I had my other car was on order from another dealer you know that and I've forgotten that no <laughs> it's nice to know that now uh, toot, toot. No, <laughs> no it was and you know it was an unfortunate situation but right his, his allocation got cut and Sure. Well, everybody did. But then I went back. I was watching your YouTube, okay, one okay. day. Yeah. And you said, now, make sure that when you order this car that you get this form. Oh, yeah, and the I order said, number sheet, yeah. yeah. And I said, I didn't get that form. So. Did you call the guy? What did he say? Did I call him? Oh, of yeah. Of course I did. <laughs> and I said, show me my order. Mm -hmm. And he pulls out of the drawer this, this spec sheet that I had written on. Right. I said, that's not my order, right. based on what I know of right. how the order should look. Right. And I said, I'll take my money back, thank you. Uh, so he just wasn't taking it serious. No. 
He never no. put my car. My never put it in the system. He probably never had the allocation to cover it. Oh, he was just trying sense. to keep you, like you said. They I keep do, do remember that conversation. You're right. It is to keep people at bay. And then yeah. what happens? And we've talked this. Uh, we talked about it enough, but it's so true. If for dealers that aren't going to get the card, then why are you taking deposits and people out of the marketplace for eons? Not knowing yourselves, let alone for the customers, if they're going to get the car. That's just not a good way to do business. And this was a guy that I had five Denali's from, GMC Denali's from. Oh, wow. Him. So okay. I thought for sure I'd be treated like a good customer, but right. we are not doing business anymore. Yeah, well, he didn't get many, but you get my business. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. God bless us, YouTube. Thanks for the, just watching and, and re responding to what we're doing and seeing that it's all real. It's it all is real, totally man. real, Rick. And Thanks, man. The one thing I like about you is the honesty piece. Thanks, man. That's what I told him. You yeah. were not honest. You yeah. are. So isn't he a gentleman? We've had some great conversations like this, more in depth, off camera. And from a gentleman like this, I respect and it, it means a lot to me, uh, knowing that I'm doing all I can, but you guys appreciate knowing that I'm doing things the right way, trying to do the right way, uh, despite all the hurdles that we have. So thanks for you guys and the opportunities. Thanks to Don. How many vets have you had, man? Three. You have three? Yeah. So you have the 62. What else I have you 62 have? and uh, 85. And 85? Yeah. The That's 85 I traded in so my daughter could have a Jeep Grand Cherokee and take her out into Colorado. And then uh, she rolled it on, on 70. She rolled it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, she, she came out of it okay. But, right, right. But no, three Corvettes and uh, this one. You're going to love this one. Well, I just know it. I know to, it. To be honest with you, uh, we got a, a, a few Lexus cars and I like Lexus. Okay. I had actually looked at their LC500. Right. But they came out with a convertible, but it was a ragtop. Oh, wow. And I said, I've, I've got an SC430, which is a sure. hardtop convertible. Exactly. I said, these guys came out with a hardtop convertible. Yeah. I said, this yeah. is the car. Yeah. You're going to love it, too. You're going to love yeah. driving it. The mid-engine platform, the big goofy steering wheel that feels right, even though it looks weird. You're going to love it. I mean, you're going to love it. And you're going to love driving it home to put it in the garage. That's, That's exactly where it's going. <laughs> Well, when you get back, I was just getting ready to tell everybody that here you flew in specifically from Florida to get your car. You're going to put it in the garage. You're going to go back to Florida, golf for a couple of months, and then you'll be back. Thank you. Yeah, so if you forgot everything we talked about, and you will, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm used to that. I'm glad that you're local. Come by, see me anytime. Happy to help you will get re-familiar with all your fun stuff. to this point. I'm sure you're going to continue nah, to be helpful. Yeah, you've been a gentleman. Thank you so much, Don. Congratulations, man. I appreciate it. All right. Give you a little send-off pat as you roll out, my man. Yeah, all right. I love it. Here's Don. A little send-off pat. Congratulations. You actually got it. Yeah, buddy. Rub that wing real quick. Yeah, baby. Woo! You got your C8, bro. That's what he says. Hey, I actually got it. No more jack sessions. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but that's what uh, that's what this whole last year's been. And this next part of the year is going. Thanks, Don. This next part of the year is going to be, but I think we're going to get past it. So hang in there, guys. Just hang in there. And yes, this coming week, the Corvette assembly plant is shut down for just a week. Nobody get all frantic. Some guys are going to make videos if they haven't already to be dramatizing all that kind of stuff. That's just news. Part supply. We knew that was going to be an issue. It is across the industry and in other businesses, not just the automotive business. So just relax. They're going to shut down for a week and we'll be fine. So any build week you had will shift over a week and hopefully there's no more this year. Please, no more. <laughs> Well, gang, that is it. That is our show today on our Sunday Coffee with Conti. Appreciate you taking the time to join us. Hope you enjoyed the upload. If you did, thumbs up this video, subscribe and support our channel. That means a lot, too. I do appreciate that. But also, make those comments down below. Curious what you think from the, I, not from the video stuff, from the iPhone photos. What do you think of the all-new Red Mist Metallic on the 2021 Corvette? And coming up Tuesday on the show, uh, we're going to get back to a ride segment, sharing some of your great-looking rides, and we're going to share just a quick little how-to that Chuck does for us. Uh, he basically gives you the uh, scenic route, the long way, on changing that personalized plaque in between the seats of your C8 Corvette. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Tuesday. Bruh.